Good morning and welcome to part two of building a kit ukulele. What I'm doing right here is I have from the vet uh, a small animal feeder, little feeding syringe. It's uh, good for small birds, small mice, small kittens, small puppies. Uh, at one point my wife and I had rescued and managed to keep alive three small puppies that were we started when they were two days old and so we were able to get some of these very small feeding syringes now the great thing about this wood glue of course like i said is uh cleans up with water well with this small tiny cleaning syringe uh, there's a few spots in here, feeding syringe, there's a few spots in here that, let's see, that I want to add a little more glue to, just right along this seam. And so by doing that, I can feed the glue right into the spot that I'd like it to go. And then... As we said, it cleans up with water. I like that. You can see it. Now it's a clean seam. And that'll dry up. Allow this a little bit of time to glue, but the ukulele is together and then with this since i didn't use very much i pour it back in and go clean up this syringe with water really quick so that i have it available if i need it again now i'm going to look at the tuners and they're decent metal tuner they're uh, pretty stock standard tuners with the screw on the back it will come out if I so choose um, sm turns rather smooth it'll go into the back of the headstock I'm gonna put it together like that so it'll kind of look like that and I like the way that looks uh, the one thing I'm not a big fan of is these little plastic and they call them fixing rings for the machine heads um, they're just flat I mean they're it's like it's like it's a little washer drop it over the top of the stem of the and then it's almost like it doesn't matter where it goes so I decided I didn't like the way that looked. That just it'd probably have to go on with super glue, CA glue, something like that. So I've decided to reuse. So I'm repurposing some of these from another instrument. I actually have six. I'll put it in there. This one, these will slide right through, and they allow for very little movement of the tuning pegs. So one of the things I'll do is. Uh, get myself some very fine grit sandpaper and polish that up give it a real nice polish so it'll look brand new and put that in there so so that means I'm upgrading the the rings I'm upgrading the fretboard so this is by the time I'm done with this this will be a pretty decent little ukulele instead of a plastic kit. I'll put four of these in there. I'll put the tape over it and just gentle it. The reason for that is so that when I put these in, uh, it'll, these will stay in place. That'll really help the placement of these tuners. I'm gonna grab one of my really fine chisels. Couldn't find my exacto blade. 
give it a quick shot. And I'm just using it to cut the tape. There we go. Just gonna put that, take that dot out of there. And And do that for each one so that when I put the tuner through, the, the ring won't move. I have these placed where I'd like them to go. I'm going to figure out what's a good size drill bit to use. Uh, that is a very old caliper. And now with it there, I have a number of drill bits. And that one, I don't want to go to the outside, of course, of the threads, because if I do that, then the threads won't grip the wood. Um, so, I'm going to go down to my number 45, which is uh, 0 0.082. That's the size I'll use. 0 0.082. That's going to leave a, enough meat in the wood to, uh, to drill through. And I do not have to drill far. So I'll put a small piece of tape on there as a little stop. Don't go any farther. I do not yet have a drill press, so I have to be very careful with this. There's my little flag. I'm gonna put this in a drill. Before I do, I will straighten these out to a space that I like and put a little starting hole right in the center. Just push it this way, the drill does not float around in all the wrong places. Okay, uh, I'll let you in on a little secret. Instead of grabbing a big giant drill for pushing this thing in, I went and got my Dremel tool and uh, I First checked to see if this would fit in it. It would not. So if you can see, it's a little blurry, but I wrapped a bunch of tape around the base to increase the width of the shaft so it would fit. Um, I'm taking, there's a very slight amount of wobble, but I believe that I can control this straight up and down easier than taking an entire drill. When I have a drill press, I won't have to worry about this. Let's give this a try. So it looks like it'll fit in there. 
That's nice. I only went down to the little blue flag and held it as straight as possible, as steady as possible. Nice. Okay, time to do the rest. And there we have it. Eight very nicely drilled holes. Okay. Um, no, it is not time to put the thing together. Uh, like I said, I want to... I want to do a surface on this, but I am going to put the parts in there and kind of dry fit them. I hit the back of the head with uh, a little 220 sandpaper just to get down some of the burrs. And now I can put these, I use the magnet of my little uh, shop flashlight to keep these eight screws together because it's amazing how fast things can just walk away from you if you don't have them bolted down. That's nice and snug. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that feels, that feels good and sturdy. I like that. There's the little tip for using a Dremel for a screw and these really, or a, a drill, these really small drills just thicken up the shank of the drill. And there you go. Huh. Only needed eight screws. And there are. 12. That's fine and dandy because I'll put them in my little junk drawer. Look at that. That looks nice. That, that looks like a little, yes. <laughs> That's nice. That's starting to look like an instrument. Here we go. Okay. Again, I won't be using this fretboard, but that really lets me see this as if it was an instrument. Approximately there. Yep. I think I just figured out why I have those four extra screws. This fretboard, the fingerboard, is supposed to be screwed down along with glued down. Never would have occurred to me to screw down a fretboard. And with that, I'll conclude part two of putting together a kit ukulele. Be on the lookout for part three when I get the fretboards, the new fretboards. And uh, also when I decide what type of finish I'll be putting on the ukulele. Hopefully by the end of part three or part four at least, we'll have a complete instrument and something that we can hear play. Thanks for watching. Bye.